Namaste everyone. So today we are going to talk about upcoming new moon in Purva Falguni Nakshatra. And Purva Falguni Nakshatra is all about connecting the opposites, all about uniting the opposites, you know, bringing the opposites together. This is why actual, you know, basis above and basis below of this nakshatra is lover and beloved, you know, female and male bringing the opposites together. This is why, according to some scriptures, the god of that nakshatra is Aryaman, the god of unions, you know, the god of marriage, the god of heart chakra. Well, according to other scriptures, it's Bhaga, you know, the god who loves luxury, you know, the god who likes things which are the best and the highest quality. But when new moon is coming to Purva Falguni nakshatra, you see what is happening that sometimes this ability, this Shakti of this nakshatra can be a little bit obstructed, can be a little bit down. You see, the powers of Purva Falguni nakshatra is not only the power, you know, to bring union, to unite something, it's also the power of creativity. And it's the nakshatra, you know, very strongly connected to the fruits of our actions, you know, because it's actual original 11th star, Karma Sampat nakshatra. Nakshatra of the fruits of our actions, you know, the nakshatra of the fruits of our cooperation as well. This is why, you know, even the power of this nakshatra is the power of creation, the power to bring offspring, you know, the power to give us fruits of our actions. You know, it's called Purva Falguni, the first reddish star, but fal also means a fruit, you know, so it's like the first fruit, the first offspring which we see. And you see, when new moon is coming into Purva Falguni Nakshatra, then this our ability to unite with people, to maintain unions and harmony in our relationships, can be a little bit down, you know, especially because Mercury is also conjunct to this new moon. So this ability can be a little bit down. Also, our creative abilities can be a little bit down as well, because even in the fifth house from this new moon in Purva Falguni Nakshatra both from sun and from moon, there is dwelling now Shani, you know, in Mula Nakshatra. So he's in a way, you know, in, in one, from one perspective, he's actually kind of constraining the creative power. But if you look at it from other perspective, he actually gives us ability and tries to push us, not just to have this creative energy, but to ground it, to realize something, to make something real, to give it a form not only to dream about it, not only to be excited about it or optimistic about it, but actually to work hard to make it come true. To work hard to make, you know, your actions bring your desirable fruits. So you see, this nakshatra and especially this new moon can give you lots of opportunities to realize your ideas, to even form and maintain new unions, new cooperations, new relationships, but you will need to put your effort into that. So around this new moon, you know, some of our relationships may fall apart, may end, may come to termination, but something new might be formed also. You know, some of our creative projects, you know, we may decide not to actually put them into life, but something new may be born. You see, new moons very often bring something to an end, but they also bring new beginnings with themselves. So especially, you know, during this new moon, what is very important for all of us to stay centered in the heart, because Purva Falguni Nakshatra is very strongly connected to our heart chakra, you know, to our ability to maintain this harmony in our relationships, to maintain the harmony, you know, between the opposites as well, to maintain the peace. And this is not, you know, such an easy thing to do, always. And it definitely always, you know, requires also some sacrifice from our side or some hard work from our side. But it is very important, especially, you know, in our relationships, if you will notice, you know, recently that you are maybe a little bit short-tempered or impatient, try to control this quality. That's also, you know, new moon in Purva Falguni Nakshatra, because Purva Falguni is extremely fiery star. So it can make us a little bit short-tempered sometimes. So during this new moon, in Purva Falguni Nakshatra, try to be a little bit less focused on yourself, your own desires, try to notice more, you know, the other person, to maintain harmony and peace in your relationships. That's really, I think, the best advice I can give you. So thank you so much for watching this video.
If you would like to know more in general about moon phases and you know how they are affecting us, you can also purchase my ebook Journey with the Moon or you can also join my Patreon community where we are having the monthly webinars on those topics. And thank you so much and I wish you a beautiful new moon and beautiful new beginnings. Namaste.